this shouldn't take much time. Um, the rust creates a mechanical lock and you got to break it. There's three basic ways. Brute force, which is not my first way. Um, the other is thermal, the other is chemical. Let's explore the thermal first. You can, well you understand the properties of metal. Metal, with heat it expands, with uh, cool it contracts. So what you're trying to do is expand the receiver and cool the hitch. Now if your hitch, if your receiver and hitch are open from the back, good. Then you can put dry ice in it. And uh, pack it with dry, as much dry ice as you can. Now dry ice is not expensive. You can go down to your welding supply and pick it up. Uh, or your gas products and pick it up. Uh, and, and break it up into little chunks. Now be sure to use welding gloves and not come in contact with your skin. So pack that. And that may be all, all you need to do. You may not even need to hit it much. It may contract enough that it'll break. Now, if it doesn't break, just apply a little bit of heat around the edge of the, the hitch, uh, the, the, not the hitch, the uh, receiver, and um, it should come out with just a few taps. Now, if your receiver is closed in the back and your hitch pin is still visible, or your, the hole for your hitch pin is still goes all the way through and it's open up five eighths of an inch, then there's good luck. You can still buy um, what they call dry ice pellets. They're about an eighth of an inch, three millimeters, eighth of an inch. You can use a funnel and funnel them in. You can use a uh, line from a weed trimmer with the funnel and uh, kind of go back and forth and, and, and feed those pellets in and then you want to get the pellets up to the front so use the weed trimmer to push them up to the front um, just put in as much as you can as you can you might have to do both sides that probably may be enough to cool it off uh, then of course use your heat on your receiver uh, so that might be worth a try to use the pellets within the uh, hitch hole. Let's see. Okay, chemical. Let's switch to chemical. Hydrochloric acid. Uh, it's an acid. It, it, it's caustic, so wear your protection, your gloves, your respirator, and your face mask, goggles. You're apt to get it on your face a little bit. Go to the sink, wash off in front of the mirror, get it off, and then come back. But you're going to have to commit to uh, an afternoon, uh, maybe a few hours, maybe even three, and tell yourself, I'm going to do this. Because if you start with the chemical and you say, hey, I'm going to finish up tomorrow, it's not going to work. It's going to seize up worse. Because you're actually rusting it. You're creating more rust. By breaking it down, then you're creating more. So you probably have to sit there, get a chair, and sit by it and, and, and of course turn your ball upside down and just bang on it all afternoon and, and, and once it starts to remove move just if you move a 30 seconds of an inch it's out okay it's going to come further it's going to take less time to get an eighth of an inch and less time to get a half an inch and then soon it's going to be out but you got to commit to say hey this is coming out and you're just going to have to be patient take a sanity check um, do your Zen meditation whatever it takes When you're um, cleaning, do not clean it with water. Clean it with baking soda and water. A little, make a paste of your baking soda and put it in, paint it in with a paintbrush or an old toothbrush and let it sit for uh, 15, 20 minutes. And you'll create a, a, a rusty sludge. You want to get all that sludge out. So get the sludge out as good as possible and then you can rinse it out with soap and water. After you rinse it out with soap and water, then get yourself some um, uh, anti-seize lubricant and coat that well with anti-seize and then get, get yourself a, a uh, plastic cap to put on the receiver.